do that. You haven't even listened to us. Even if we are going beyond what you expect, you can stop us. But you don't come to on the other side and start dictating to us. Do you want us to protect you, or do you want us to defend you, or you want to be on your own? Because do you realize that the Senate, I hope that Mike can let me finish. Do you realize that the Senate, when we constitute this, whatever the law gives, we can also suspend you. Do you realize that? No, no, sir. No, sir. I it doesn't come see, from Are you treating me with, with suspicion? We are not no. threatening I, I mean, you. I said we are you, not threatening you. I will not see you threatening you with suspicion. All due respect, sir. Would it hear you ever call? If you are sent on like me, you don't threaten me with suspicion. I take exception. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Off that mic. You are digging a hole for yourself. All right, then. Go ahead. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm also another woman. So yes, you better be careful. Ma'am, please, please, please. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about Senator Alicia Abo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. But anyways, so I'm sure a lot of people know about the video that came out of him assaulting a lady at a store sometime in May. So I've been, you know, I've been researching this story and I've been covering it because I find it very interesting because a lot of Nigerian politicians get away with a lot of things because of their office, because of the fact that they can carry around police all the time and not be questioned whatsoever. So this senator is a typical example of a Nigerian politician. So basically on that day, he went to... A store it's an adult store in Abuja and apparently he owns he's friends with the owner of the store and her name is Kemi from the video I'm sure all of you can see that so at one point he came into the store I don't know what he was angry about what he was mad about but he came into the store and he sat down you know in the store and just waited and for what I could see in the video he was waiting for the police to arrive and mind you the nigerian police officers how it works is that you can pay a police officer to follow you around so police officers are kind of like personal security in nigeria it's not as if no they are obeying the law or you know working cases for the states is practically private security so he came to the store and he called the police officers and he, and he came in and they came in and you know he got up and started explaining what the problem is apparently she was rude to him or she said he was stupid or she said something and he got mad about that and that's why he called the police so the lady kemi the owner of the store called her father on the phone to tell him that okay dad some people are in the store and this man just called police officers and uh, the senator was now yelling that put the phone down when I'm talking, put the phone down when I'm talking. And everybody was trying to explain to him that she's calling her dad, she's calling her father. And, you know, the senator wasn't having it. He just kept on yelling. And one of the police officers tried to snatch her phone from her hand. So a lady that was just standing beside, you know, the owner of the store came and was like, oh, take it easy now. That's how the senator went around and started beating the woman and assaulting her, as you can see in the video. So the only reason he assaulted her was because she was trying to defend her friend. Not like she did anything wrong with him. Not as if they have any personal connection whatsoever. It's because of the fact that she was trying to protect her friend from being intimidated and bullied by the police officers. And we all saw the video. The f video was just horrible, you know. And... This is the, I know this is the first video that a lot of people have seen, but this goes on in Nigeria like every day, every day, these politicians are allowed to just, you know, go about their day-to-day -day life with impunity, without no consequences whatsoever, no consequences, they can do whatever they want, because nobody's going to hold them accountable. Alright, moving on, so, um, after this video broke and everybody was you know the, the, the rest of the world and nigeria in particular they were, were all outraged about it because if you look at it it's just horrible it, it's just unnecessary it's not like she did anything wrong to you you did that because you had police around you and that's what got to a lot of nigerians so um when the video surfaced uh, 
he was receiving some backlash the ig of police said he was going to file criminal charges against him which he eventually did so you know when everyone was talking about it, the senator that is elijah who came out and made a statement you know apologizing for the incident and stuff but in that statement you can see that he didn't clearly apologize to the victim that's to the nursing mother that he was beating up he was just apologetic about the fact that we saw it and because he has been suspended from his post he wasn't genuinely sorry whatsoever he was not genuinely sorry he didn't address the victim directly you know if you're sorry there are some things you'll have done speak to the victim apologize even if she wants to carry on with criminal charges fine compensate her for her pain and suffering just show an effort not like you're apologizing because you have to because you're scared to lose your job not like that we're not going to take all these half ass apologies Nigerians were just tired. We're tired of the fact that these guys are allowed to get away with anything and we are the ones suffering for it. For it, you know, it's our money, it's the taxpayers' money that is paying those politicians. So, why are we suffering for all the you know laws they break? The politicians are the ones that they swore an oath to the country to protect the citizens of the country, to serve the citizens of the country. But what they do when they get into office is abuse. It's abuse the citizens of Nigeria. That's all they do. So, um, after all this happened, there was a press conference held by a number of affluent politicians. Tinubu's wife was there and uh, uh, some other politicians were there as well. So this this meeting obviously was was held to talk about the incidents, you know, for him to be held accountable, you know, for him to get the consequence of his actions. Because even though he was arrested or he turned himself in, he was bailed out for five million naira. He was he posted bail and he left. So this was like another form of interrogation, so he can explain himself on camera on the record and. The senator was asking him questions and the way he was responding to her, he was so, so rude. He was not remorseful at all. It was almost like he didn't even want to be there. And the way he spoke to Senator Tinambo's wife, it's just obvious that this man has no respect for women. He has no respect for women. And he has no respect for nigerians he has no respect for the country he claims to serve under no respect whatsoever these are the kind of men that destroy our society these are the kind of men that makes it okay to just see a girl and just beat her up for no reason because they know nobody's gonna arrest them This is 2019 and I think people are starting to wake up and realize that even though we cannot change our government because, you know, we're just a small clock cog in the whole operation. At least we need to start speaking out about it. Even though it's little things, even though people will say, okay, what is this going to do for Nigeria? But this is a start. This is a start. Next time when another senator wants to assault someone, he'll think about it twice. You know, we're protecting the citizens of Nigeria. That's what we're meant to do. How can you live in a country where you're scared of the people that are supposed to serve you? Or the people that are supposed to serve you are the ones mistreating you? You know? Another thing that got to me about that video is the fact that the police officers were s- stood there and did nothing. Absolutely nothing. They saw him beat this woman up. They saw him slap her multiple times they saw him pull her by her hair and they did nothing and he told them arrest her you assaulted someone and you're telling them to arrest her you know so so you can you can get the idea of how these guys what they do how they they feel like they're in control of everything because nobody's going to question them nobody's going to question them you know i think this senator First of all, suspension with pay is not suspension. 
Number one, he's supposed to be suspended without pay. Number two, he's supposed to be sacked immediately. Immediately. There's no even need to go to court. He's meant to be sacked. And he's meant to face jail time. And to be honest, a politician that makes more than that, a lot of money, five million naira bill isn't enough. They needed to give him a amount of bill that when he drops it, he can feel it. Not five million. Five million isn't going to do anything for him. You know, he makes more than that in like 10 minutes. Do you get what I mean? So he needs, he needs to leave office. He needs to be sacked. That's exactly what needs to happen. And he should never be allowed to hold any public office ever again. Because he has lost the trust of Nigerians. Not like we trusted him before, but if a senator can do that, just in a store for a lady that is doing her job, you know, think about the things that we don't know about. You know what he has done that we don't know about? Because the way he was beating her up, the way he was acting, it was almost as if he's done this before. So, Senator Elijah Abu needs to step down. He needs to be sacked completely and should never be allowed to hold any public office whatsoever. You know, we don't even need to go to court. You can never hold public office again. Because that's the one thing him is he's scared of not being able to make the money he's making now. You know, the last piece of information I want to talk about is the fact that Nobody's even asking about the lady that was assaulted. Nobody's even asking her how she is. I've not seen one single video or press conference held by the victim explaining what she had to go through. Even though Nigeria saw it. We're supposed to hear from her, you know. Anyways, we just need to do better. We need to do better. Alright guys, thank you for tuning into my channel. I'll get you guys more updates as... I get more news. Thank you.